Welcome back. When you made four hundred million pounds before your thirtieth birthday, you might well then want to spend the rest of your days living the high life. But that's not for Mark Shuttleworth. He made his fortune when he sold off his internet security company four years ago, and now he's working hard to create free software which he hopes one day will rival Microsoft. For the first of Networkers, our series on the movers and shakers of the internet, Mark Shuttleworth has given a rare interview to More 4 News, and he spoke to our reporter, Rags Martell. When you start a computer, it probably makes this noise when you switch it on. But have you heard of this sound? This is Ubuntu, a software operating system just like Microsoft Windows. The big difference, it's free. And it's being given away by a South African, Mark Shuttleworth, a multimillionaire from the dot-com boom. Now he's spending his money taking on Bill Gates. You could put me in the same category as people who have been very, very privileged, very lucky during their lifetime and want to see that privilege, that wealth, do something positive and create something positive. So this is a lot of fun for me. I really enjoy, I enjoy the project. I love the people. I love the geek philosophy. Ubuntu started two years ago. The name means humanity to others in Zulu. Fittingly, it's put together by volunteers from around the world who are continuously working to make it more user-friendly. When we caught up with Mark, he was hosting a conference with the cream of Ubuntu programmers. Ubuntu is software for your PC. It's like Windows and the applications that you would use with, with Windows. But instead of all of those applications coming from lots of different vendors, it's just one complete platform which you can use for browsing the web, doing email, um, using your office documents, presentations, spreadsheets, database work, and has now reached the point in terms of maturity and sophistication that it's starting to rival uh, Microsoft and Apple and other commercial software platforms. Because Ubuntu is given away free, it's hard to know how many people use it. It's estimated there are six million users, but Microsoft still dominates the software industry. Ninety percent of the world's computers use Windows. Mark Shuttleworth is a man used to a challenge. In 2002, he spent 13 million pounds and a year of his life on a trip to space. Since his return to Earth, Mark has seen Ubuntu grow. Not only is it popular in the third world, where people can't afford Microsoft Windows, but Google now use it in their offices. And there's also a growing number of people who are happy using it at home. One of the biggest problems is that it is free. Um, if you pay for something, you expect that there's someone who takes responsibility. Now, with the type of software that we're talking about here, um, it's called open source software, and that means there's lots and lots of people out there in the world who are helping to create this software. But then who do you call if something goes wrong? Who is responsible? A drab hotel conference room is perhaps an unlikely setting for a man who's already made £400 million. But like his rival Bill Gates, he's keen to see his money go to a good cause. Well, I think the world is changing and, and people are realizing that, that, that the ability to have an impact in your lifetime is an extremely precious thing. So in terms of philanthrop philanthropic work around the world, um, I do see a trend towards people saying, I want to see the wealth that I've created. I want to see that do good during my lifetime. True to his word, Mark Shuttleworth has already given away half of his fortune to charity. Rags Martel reporting there. Well,